Welcome all you Capricorns to your monthly reading for the month of July where we've been focusing in on chakras each month starting all the way back in January and here we are now in the seventh chakra which is known as the crown chakra. We've got all this beautiful amethyst which represents the color of that chakra and because we're focusing in on the crown this month what we're going to be looking at for this reading is how can we connect higher. Now if you're new to my channel what I do each month is I do take a tarot deck and I split off the major arcana from the four suits of the minor arcana. And for the major arcana what this represents is the general energy for the month that spirit wants you to know about and we'll focus of course this month in on how you can connect higher. Now all the cards I use in a reading I do list in the description box below. All right so let me just give these a good mix. All right, so for our Capricorns, what energy, okay, would you like them to know about? <laughs> well, you got the beautiful sun card here. So this is a, one of the most abundant, free-flowing, wonderful cards to get in the entire deck. So congratulations. Also, it brings light into all these different areas of your life. You can see the little child here too is being let out from behind the walls so the, your inner child is allowing to be seen and like the true you also is allowing to be seen and the sun also you know it shines light on all the wonderful things in our life it also shine on some of the cobwebs this month some of those things those obstacles kind of the walls that are keeping you confined as well so it's going to be looking into that we're also going to pull a card here from the the universe has got your back deck and see what else they want to add to that energy but a very bright and successful cheery card for your month of july so what else for our capricorns please okay and then you have this card here which has what looks like a giant sun possibly on there <laughs> And here you go. Simple message. Oneness is your true nature. So this is returning back to this, uh, the trueness, the oneness of who you really are, connecting to that higher place, uh, moving beyond these boundaries. We'll get clarification as we go through here too, uh, especially going through these four minor arcana, because the four minor arcana represent the four different areas of your human experience. And we'll start off with the fire element, which is the wand suit. And this represents your drive, your ambition, your inspiration, like that spark and that passion within you. It's also your energy and uh, can represent your spiritual energy too. So this will represent what the creator wants you to know about your spiritual adventure during the month of July, especially in regards to connecting higher. So for our Capricorns, what would you like them to know about their spiritual adventure? Okay. So it's that one there. And we're also going to pull from this Return of Spirit deck. See what else they'd like to add into your spiritual adventure. All right. So for Capricorns, what else would you like them to know, please, about their spiritual adventure? Okay. And we'll start off with this one, which looks like a giant sun or a giant star. And it says prayers. So I like that and we'll read from the book on this one because uh, I love how the author Shirley Harnish, how she phrases the information for each of these beautiful cards that she created. And it says, you are being heard. Your guides and your angels are acknowledging your prayers, your thoughts and communication with them. This is their way of affirming to you that your messages are getting through to them loud and clear. And it's easy to feel as though you are not being heard at times, mainly because the communication feels as though it is only one way. And this is exactly why the prayers card has come to you today. Every time you pray or talk to your guides and angels, your loved ones on the other side, you are opening up a direct line of communication with them. Although they cannot answer you in the form of words, they are sending you energetic and intuitive replies. Take time after your prayers to sit quietly. Feel your own energy and the energy within your room. 
you will start to find that you are becoming more sensitive to their presence and may also start to tune in to the divine messages that they have for you. If you have not been speaking to your guides and angels, then this card has come to encourage you to do so. Relationships take effort on both sides, and they are wanting to build their relationship with you. Wow. So talking with spirit is a powerful way to feel supported, connected, and cared for, especially when we're feeling alone in our physical world. Usually when this card appears, it is because you are much more able than most to hear the messages of spirit. Prayer is a powerful building block in strengthening your intuitive gifts. So begin looking for replies and answers to your prayers in your everyday world as well, because spirit is reaching out to communicate back to you now. And this is beautiful because the more you connect to the upper realm, remembering who you really are too, uh, you are intentionally raising your vibration to one of unconditional love and joy and laughter and peace. That is the frequency at which spirit speaks. So when we're down here in the chaos and all the noise that's going on in the world, it's really hard for us to hear the whispers of love. But when we get out of that regular place, you know, move beyond those walls, that loud noise, you know, it's like getting up in the mountains, you can hear in that quietness, you can hear the messages so much more clearly. So I love that for you. Yeah, and here's the six of wands. The six of wands is like this uh, movement from one way of looking at things to another, in a way. Um, you know, for this one, this is about uh, recognition and I love the message that comes with this and with everything we've been talking about because we start off looking for the outside world to recognize us and to um, you know validate our worth and our feelings and so this represents you know worldly external validation which we may have received somewhere but if you haven't gotten it or you have gotten it and you realize how empty it is you eventually turn upward um, to get that recognition from above, which is basically what they're saying here is contact us, um, communicate with us because we do want to contact you. We do want to talk with you. We want to let you know how proud of you we are, how amazed we are at the journey that you've been on and how brave that you've been going through this human experience. And so you are having this movement from under the other. There's this one of my favorite decks, and I usually mention it with this because um, I think it's a light Sears deck. It shows someone like with a crowd in front of them and um, the big spotlight and they're on stage. And so that's that recognition. But the people in the audience are all like just outlined in white, like they're ghosts, like they're transparent. It's empty. But the big spotlight that's coming from above the person, which is us, is uh, handing their hands toward towards the light. And that is like the the perfect representation for me in my mind of, yes, that's empty. The validation and the recognition from the outside world is empty because it's fleeting, it's unstable. But when you connect to above, then you get that true, pure validation. You don't have to worry about their ulterior, ulterior motives like the physical world with those humans. You know how humans are. But the spiritual world, they have everything. They don't have to play tricks or manipulate us or do anything. They're just, it's pure giving that love to us. So um, this is perfect for you. Now, where this is your energies, your inner energies, we're going to talk about your thoughts and your emotions. All of that is your inner world. This is the physical world. This is the only suit or the suit of pentacles. It's the earth element. It represents the outside world. So all those other people that are on stage with you, um, all those props like your body, you know, your possessions, your bank account, all those things in the physical world. And this is like what the creator wants you to know about your physical adventure during the month of July in regards to connecting higher. And this is your element. So this is where your Capricorns are earth, uh, earth signs. So this is your home. This is what you've used to. This energy is nothing uh, that would scare you. <laughs> We're also going to pull from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. Let's see what else they want you to know about your physical 
adventure during July. So what else for our Capricorns, please? Okay, that one. And we will look at this one first. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles really is so much about being true to you and your authentic self. A story that uh, Spirit gave to me around these, because these you have two people here, and then here's you creating something over here. And one of these people represents the naysayer, you know, that person or persons in your life that are like, why are you doing that? You're not going to be any good at that. You should do something more solid. You should do this. You should do it this way. Blah, 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 right? And we know what we do with them. We push them outside our circle because we want support, which is what the other person brings in this example. And the person that is the supporter is basically says things like, I'm so, you know, kind of like that recognition, right? We're so proud of you. You're doing things so well. We can't wait to see what you do with this. Wow, how exciting. But they might add something else and they're like, but have you ever tried doing it this way? And that person can influence us more by pulling us off our authentic path because we, our little ego inside of us, you know, it wants that, uh, you know, validation and appreciation from the outside world, from those individuals. And we fear that if we don't sway and do things at least a little bit the way that they're wanting, that they're going to join that naysayer camp and start backstabbing us and telling us how we're going to fail and all that kind of stuff. So out of fear, we might go off there. So this card is like this message of try not to look to the outside world for your validation. Be true to your authentic self. You are definitely supported. And so this is that nudge to keep uh, or not even just keep maybe for the first time move to the true authentic path that you want to lead in this life and do things in that way. Yep. And you have the mirror guardian and it says, take time to reflect. And that's great. I mean, everything that comes our way in our life is a mirror for us. They're always reflecting back to us what we want to see about ourselves until we see it. And so these individuals here that they're talking about, it's like, those are just messengers for us. The naysayers, it doesn't bother us uh, unless we believe it, right? If they say, yeah, you're not going to be able to be successful at that, if that's our fear, that's why it's making such an impact on us, right? Or the validation, you know, the things that they're saying, um, even the praise things that they're saying, it's like we believe that because we see into that mirror of who we really feel we are. So all these individuals in any circumstance, anything that comes into our life is constantly showing us what we want to see about ourselves until we see it. But let's see what else the mirror guardian has to say. It does say, take some time to reflect on your strengths and challenges and how far you've come. Recognize your gifts. Angels accept you just the way you are, as we were talking about. Even when you are going through a challenging time, they still hold you in the highest esteem. The mirror guardian, a female angel looking into the mirror of life, invites you to witness your spiritual strength and your beauty, to see yourself as the angels do. The mirror represents the fact that your core beliefs and ideas are in fact what is reflected back to you by your world. Your life is one big mirror of how you feel within, and the mirror guardian helps you recognize that. So when this card appears, you're being invited to take some time to see where you are right now, right? Sunlight, spotlight. You are a beautiful being who has surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take inventory of your life, to take the time to note all your recent experiences, the challenges you have surmounted, the strengths you have developed, and the lessons you have learned. Your angels want you to reflect on your strengths, in particular, those aspects of yourself that you feel have not been acknowledged by others. <laughs> Offer yourself approval where it's due and know that when you give yourself credit, 
others will be able to do so as well. Yes, I love that. <laughs> and it's kind of like what you're looking for in other people. You know, that mirror is like, it's to give it to yourself. It's, I'm reminded of the, the book, The Path to Love by Deepak Chopra. And in it, <laughs> there's a place that says, what are you looking for in a partner, right? And of course, um, spo spoiler alert, it, you know, when you answer it, um, like in my case, I wanted to find, uh, you know, someone who respected me because I felt like all my past partners had disrespected me in one way or another. So I said, I want people uh, find someone who respects me. And then the spoiler alert is the next paragraph says, well, what you're looking for and others you need to find in yourself. And yes, the book went flying across the room when I read that. After I calmed down, I realized you're right. I was giving away like I would leave my friendships and abandon all my dreams for that other person. Be And that's not self-respect, right? When I found respect for myself, then others started having respect for me because no one can treat you any differently than you treat yourself. No one like uh, for like love. No one can love you more than you love yourself. And you cannot love others more than you love yourself. And so this is a beautiful message coming in here. And then we're moving into the element of air, which is the suit of swords. And this is all about your mind. So it's your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, and your expectations. So this will be your mental adventure during the month of July in regards to connecting higher. So for our Capricorns who love to think, I know I'm a Capricorn rising. That's the, your card there. And we're also going to pull a card from this numerology guidance cards. Let's see what else they want you to know about your mental adventure. All right, so what else for our Capricorns, please? Okay, that one right there. So we'll start off with the tarot card, and you've got the Knight of Swords. Yep. So. Knights, of course, what do knights do? Knights quest. So this knight is on a quest for this Ace of Swords, which the Ace of Swords does two things. One, it empowers you to connect to the capital T truce of the higher realm. It also allows you to cut away the small T truce of the human experience. Those small T truce that are rooted in fear of being rejected, of not being enough, of not being recognized, right? Uh, and the capital T truce is that love that we have all rooted in unconditional love. And so this night is about this movement towards discovering those capital T truths and realizing those small T truths that are no longer serving you that you're cutting away. And then you have <laughs> surrender. Yes. Card number 91, which nine and one is 10. It's endings and new beginnings. So you are ready to let some of these things and these thoughts go. You have had enough of it. it. Says the card indicates a need to surrender your attachment to a particular situation or preferred outcome because your inability to let go is impeding your success. Desperation blocks manifestation. I love that. Let me say that again. Desperation blocks manifestation. Therefore, the more you struggle to attract your desire, the more you push it away. So by drawing this card, you're being encouraged to detach from the situation and surrender the outcome to the divine. In order to attract what you want, you must give the universe space to deliver your request. This can only be achieved by getting out of the way so that everything can unfold as it should. It isn't your job to make it happen. It is simply your job to allow it to happen. When you surrender the outcome to the divine, you let the magic flow. So make peace with your life as it is today and appreciate what you already have. When you do what brings you joy rather than fret about the end result, divine order and timing will bring the perfect outcome your way. Yep. So letting go of those outcomes and those beliefs and those thoughts that have been restricting you. 
And then we move into the final suit, which is the suit of uh, cups. It's the water element. And these represent your emotions. So this would be whatever the creator wants you to know about your emotional adventure during the month of July regarding connecting higher. All right, so what do you want our Capricorns to know? Okay, they do want you to have that one. And then your final oracle card we're going to pull for this reading is from this elemental oracle. And since this is the final card, the oracle card, it can represent more about your emotional experience, but we're going to let it be a wild card too. And it can be whatever else the creator wants you to know about your adventure in July. So far, okay. <laughs> That's the one there. Yep. So we'll start off with this one here, and you have the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is a, is a great card. You know, you have the three spilt cups over here, which represent the disappointment that you have had in the outside world. And each of those cups represents a different area of our experience. One is relationships, and that's family, friends, romantic, work, school, feather babies, fur babies, whatever it might be. The second cup is situations like your job, your education, your social status, just situations that you can get into. And the third is things like your body, your possessions, your bank account. And, you know, we're told that those things are what are supposed to fulfill us out there. But the thing about that um, and, and why they disappoint us is because they're unstable. Relationships, people change or they pass away situations never stay the same and then of course things break down deteriorate or are stolen or burned down right so those uh things are unstable and so we mourn and we have that disappointment and that's what's great about the number fives it's about a change of looking at things and so we start off you know mourning over the things that we've lost and that's okay we come here to experience that there's nothing wrong with that emotion whatsoever but when you're ready, you do have the Two of Cups here in this bridge that takes you across to the palace where you have your emotional fulfillment, where you discover that. The Two Cups represent the two different places that we can choose uh, to have emotion from. One is from all those Three Cups, the outside world, the fear, right? It's the fear of losing love, conditional love. The other cup is the chalice, the Holy Grail. That is full of the unconditional love of the creator of all things. So every moment is an emotional choice between choosing uh, unconditional love or the fear of losing conditional love. So there's this wisdom that is gleaned from this that having experienced the disappointment of the outside things that points us inward where we find that holy grail so great awareness that comes through here i feel like this is where that surrendering and this uh, awareness is coming into and then you have you know, transformation pressure beautiful card and it's card number 26 so let's see what this mentions in here for you your final oracle message for this reading and then we'll still pull a couple cards from this deck but it says you can view pressure as being negative or you can see it as uh, being a shaper, director, or positive influence. Find a happy medium where you can benefit and not be disadvantaged. Pressure is simply defined as how much something is pushing on someone else or something else and is measured scientifically by the analysis of an applied force by a liquid or a gas. Atmospheric or barometric pressure is the pressure within the Earth's atmosphere. Blood pressure is how much pressure the force of the circulating blood is applying to the veins and the arteries of the body. Pressure can be a shaping influence, especially when applied to the Earth's crusts and plates. We also find the liquid pressure of water important, especially when going deep into the ocean when diving. And the pressure of air exerts change on boiling points. Thus, at a higher altitude, the air pressure is different. 
So modern people often refer to the pressure that their jobs and their bosses or life in general poses on them. Many people perform best under pressure, viewing it as a focusing force, which studies show a small amount of pressure can assist a uh, performance in a, a wide variety of fields. Emergency physicians, the military, and pilots train under higher than average pressure situations. However, there can be a point when too much pressure harms cognitive performance and when the pressure becomes overwhelming uh, and then it is impossible to focus clearly. And that's the element of air which we have down here. So the pressure that it's bringing this awareness around here uh, you know, are these thoughts and these beliefs that you're ready to surrender, you're ready to release and relieve that pressure that's coming in here. So beautiful, beautiful messages coming in. Your last cards are going to be from the Star Seeds deck, and this is just the last um, messages that the Creator has for all you Capricorns for this reading for the month of July. So what are your final messages for our Capricorn, please? I got that one there. What else? Okay. Do you want that one and that one? Any others? Oh, just those three. So we'll start off with this one over here. <laughs> and you have your power of choice. <laughs> By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. And we even had, you know, those two cups there was that this is the power of choice. Every moment you get to choose between emotions or thoughts or stories of unconditional love that are rooted in that unconditional love from above or of the fear of losing the conditional love of the outside world that's rooted in fear. And then this one here, you have light. That one says, it is time to reveal your radiant light to the world. And I kind of want to put this one here because this is you. This is this bright light and you are leaving the walls and, and showing this light of who you really are, this brightness of who you really are. And then the cuss word is your last one here, patience. <laughs> so people say, this is the cuss word. <laughs> Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. Yeah, so definitely um, allowing, and, and it kind of talked over here about, you know, surrendering the outcomes, just knowing that you have the choice in this moment to choose what anything means. You get to just go with the flow, knowing that everything that unfolds, everything that is brought and mirrored into your life is happening for you. It's not happening to you. So you have this beautiful, beautiful connection that's coming in for you for this month. And seeing these mirrors definitely um, you know, all this mirrors is mirroring all these thoughts and these beliefs and this pressure. It's all coming to you from the outside world. Um, I'm actually reading this book called The Presence Process. Just, you know, not presence like gifts, but presence like being present. Um, it's by Michael Brown, I believe. And uh, it basically says that when we're ready to look at something in our lives, that we can't be inundated in our brain. Our brain can only handle so much at once, you know, with ahas and, and these, uh, you know, uh, information coming in. So it starts bringing them in as examples and we start seeing it in the outside world through other people's lives, so how they're treating us or uh, speaking to us and, and those types of things. So it starts us becoming aware of it by bringing it into our peripherals, bringing it into our vision. And I, that's what these mirrors are. They're the messengers that creator that the universe is bringing to us for us. So when we realize that, and especially the more we connect with the higher realms, the more clarity that we'll have, they'll give us little crib notes on what's going on. You know, they won't mess with our free will or with what we want to have the lessons and experiences but if we ask them for assistance and it doesn't uh, impact our experience they will definitely give us information give us signs synchronicity so ask them as much as possible 
for guidance and assistance and signs and you will get them all over the place so i'm loving this message for you for the month of july capricorns if you are looking for more messages of love from above in addition to these monthly readings for each zodiac sign i also put out weekly readings for uh, like energy updates for each zodiac sign and a few other types of videos throughout the month so if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified as soon as they become available if you give this video a little thumbs up and click that like button also click the subscribe button and that gives you access to the notification bell and when you go in there if you click on the all option then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out uh, for this channel also doing those things help spread the love and it helps my channel grow in significant ways because when you like a video you share a video comment on a video and especially subscribing to the channel makes the youtube algorithm so giddy and excited it wants to share the videos of this channel with other people as well so if you feel inspired to do any of those things i am definitely grateful for that also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information for your specific life, I do offer personal readings, and all that information is listed in the description box below. All right, beautiful Capricorns, as you're going through this amazing month, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things, and of course, I love you too. Have an amazing month, but I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. And in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.